So hey what's up guys, right box here and welcome to a brand new series. So this is going to be a special season of the uh, career mode for Moto GPA team. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a career mode season but as Jorge Lorenzo. So we've got 19 races ahead of us, the 2018 season and we're going to do it as Jorge Lorenzo because this year he really could have won the championship if he was on form from the year. Uh, start of the season and also if he doesn't fracture his wrist which is why he missed the Thai Grand Prix and there's question marks of whether he'll come back for the Japanese Grand Prix or whether he'll come back who well he must probably well he'll probably be recovered by the end of the season but basically he's going to struggle to get anywhere near the top of the table this season so obviously next season he's going back to Honda well he's going to Honda for the first time so what we're going to do we're going to do a season as Jorge Lorenzo and then we'll probably get back to our normal MotoGP career mode. So I hope you do enjoy this season. There is a mod which I've installed, which you'll see shortly. But uh, basically the mod is the aero fairing mod. So it adds in aero fairings to some of the other bikes. So this Ducati, as you'll see from the race, does actually have the aero fairings. Um, on the factory bike so me and Ovi both have this so uh, let's get into this it's going to be the same format two three lap races every episode so we've got what about nine episodes ahead of us of this mini series so I uh, hope you enjoy this special season so let's get straight into the race so here we are then on the grid you can see we've got the usual front row. We got Dovi and Marquez and Valentino on the front row. That's our usual front row, which we've seen in our career mode season so far. But actually, it's Vinales on the front, not Rossi. Um, but you can see Dovi is running the aero fairings, and here you go. You can see our winglets as well. Well, they're not winglets; they call the aero fairings now to meet the specification requirements. But anyway, here we go. The first round of this opening season. As Jorge Lorenzo, I'm going to take it cautiously coming into turn number one. We're getting a bit of lag here. What is going on with the lag? Why are we lagging so much? Haven't experienced any lag on this game previously when recording. What is going on here today? There we go. Back up to normal frame rate. So that's compromised us a little bit at the start there. But we're up into 15th place already. But we're coming flying up the inside. Very late on the brakes, trying to get under one of the Pramacs and again making contact with what the Pramac again. And now goes almost over Scott Redding. Come on! Oh my God, over the grass, getting a little bit of frame drop. So if you've seen this uh, in the recording as well, I do apologise for that. Never really had that. Maybe I don't know. I can't even explain why. <laughs> don't know why. Never experienced it on this game before when recording. So, so here we go. Onto the back of Danilo Petrucci. Where can we get him? Obviously, Petrucci is replacing Lorenzo at Ducati next season. So it'll be interesting to see how he does compared to Davizioso, who's been a machine for uh, for Ducati over the past few seasons. But there we go, hopping our way in front of Danilo Petrucci into ninth place, and we've got the top ten right up ahead of us. So we can start to make our way into the top 10 pick up pick up some more points hopefully might be a bit difficult to beat Dovi and Marquez around here as uh, they are pulling away at a rate of knots at the front so it's so whether we can catch up to them can we go with them we've got all that to find out so coming to turn number one very late on the brakes trying to get underneath Cal Crutchlow which we are able to do and then it's Zarko next as long as we can keep it ahead of Crutchlow come on there we go finding our way through the middle of Valentino and Zarco there. Up into sixth place. And uh, making good progress. Nice clean racing. Just what we like to... S As I say that. Nice clean racing. Jack Miller. <laughs> so look at Alex Renz all the way up in fourth place on the Suzuki. The Suzuki going well round here. So we should be able to be, uh, hopefully pick him off. And then go after the top three on the final lap. But have we got enough to challenge for the victory? I don't know if we do, especially if we go deep like that. Go wide like that, make mistakes, it's going to cost us time. Alex Rins, where are we going to be able to get you, buddy? So we're coming into the final sectors now of this second lap. Going to be going on to the final lap. And then we've got Argentina to come in the second race of this episode. Alex Rins, can we get him into the final corner? 
And then we can use the Ducati power to power past him. Oh my god, we're making contact there. Up the inside. Oh, he comes back at us as we run deep. Oh, that's a little bit frustrating. Come on, we're getting the run. Got the legs on him. Gonna go straight past him. Sorry about that. I'm just pausing to get a thumbnail. So ignore me. And back to the action. Then we're gonna come flying up the inside. I just had to pause it there to get a thumbnail for the, uh, the thumb. Well, a picture, a screenshot for the uh, thumbnail of this video. But there we go. Up into fourth place on the final lap now. Can we close in on Maverick Vignal? Oh my God, Vrins. Put me off a little bit there. Let's run a little bit deep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vinales is next. Marquez and Dovi battling out. This is going to be good. Come on. Oh, look how deep we're running. That's not what you want. Spin it back round. What's the gap to Maverick? I don't really know what the gap is to Maverick as we're starting to push it now. We're starting to run a little bit wide. Need to just get back to hitting our apexes. And we should catch up. Nine tenths of a second. Just less than just less than a second off of Vinales. Come on. If we get a podium in our first Grand Prix, that'd be good. That'd be really good. Tipping it into turn 12, getting on the power as early as possible. It's turn 13. Oh. Bring it around in turn 14. Oh my god, hitting the bomb. That's not what you want. And then out wide at 14. Heading into 15, the penultimate corner. You can see Marquez has got the run and we're losing rear grip. That is not going to be enough. So we're coming into the final corner. It's going to be enough to secure fourth place, but... Not enough to get ourselves a podium, which is pretty disappointing, but, you know, I'll take it. First Grand Prix, fourth place, we're still in the running for the championship. Plenty of races left in this season. So there you go. After the first round, I think it was Marquez that won. Yeah, it was. Marquez is going to be leading this championship ahead of Dovi and then Vinales. So let's see what we could do then heading into round number two, which will be Argentina. Right then, here we go. You can see Davizioso is on pole position with Marquez and then also Valentino right at the front, on the front row of the grid. We're at the back. We've got three laps. A bit of a short track this one, but we've got the inside line going to be heading into turn number one. So can we capitalise from that? We'll have to wait and see as we get off the line and we get a decent run. Everyone else has bogged down a little bit, actually. So I'll take that heading to turn one, breaking as late as we can. Coming to turn number one, Audi into 17th place, trying to get alongside the Red Bull KTM. We're absolutely torpedoing up this grid. Trying to hold it off the inside of Zarco and Pedrosa. And now ahead of the other Red Bull. And there is Vinales. Oh, he's out wide a little bit. Can we use his slipstream to power on ahead of these guys? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where do we break? I got no idea. Oh my god, I've sent Vinales further up. Actually, I've forced him into an overtake, which will help him out. And now we're at the inside of Cal Crutchlow. And as I was saying, it is a shorter lap, but we do have the pace on the AI. We're not as good as we. Well, at Qatar, we're not as good as the AI. But around here, we probably have the legs on the AI, but Valentino gets back at us. Trying to get underneath him. Obviously, former teammates. Oh, Lorenzo and Rossi. Lots of bad blood. Lots of history. A good rivalry. But uh, that was all at Yamaha. Now, of course, Lorenzo on the Ducati and now heading over to Honda. So, he's going to be racing on all three factory Yamaha. Factory, full factory bikes, I mean. Well, the top three. Obviously, Rossi's done that as well. Yamaha, Honda, and Ducati as we're making contact with Valentino. We get out wide. Oh, my God. We almost fell off there. But coming into lap number two, then. This is a race where we need to get ourselves a win. Oh, Valentino, stay away. I'm getting on the grass there. It's not what you want. It's coming back at us. Oh, he's going to be hungry to get past us. Trying to keep him at bay. Trying to run out too wide. Right, now we need to concentrate on closing down the gap 
to Marquez and Dovi up ahead. It's going to be them fighting for the whole season. We've seen it season after season after season. But obviously when we did our Yamaha career, we were able to close up the gap. But here comes Valentino and Vinales up the inside of us. That's not what we want. We want to be able to push it now onto the back of Dovi and Marquez. But instead we've got these Yamahas battling it out. It's getting wide. Who's going to come out on top in this battle? It's going to be me for now. Come on. Come on, we can close in on these guys. Popping a wheelie. They've been battling up ahead, which is costing them time. Although we got ourselves into battle, which is going to cost us time too. Let's go, let's go. Into the final corner. Can we do anything on our teammate? Not really. Don't want to take him out. I just say that. We almost someone up the inside. Now we're on the final lap. What can we do? As Lorenzo, can we do anything? We've got Rossi and Vinales behind. They're about a second behind. Plenty of time. We've managed to bridge the gap between the two battles. But can we get the job done on Dovi and Marquez? I think we might be able to. It's just a matter of time. We've got the pace towards the end of the lap to be able to do it, I think. Here we go. Ooh, hitting that sausage curb. Did you see that? That almost sent us flying. We almost fell off. We almost threw our race down the drain, but we haven't. <laughs> and we've got Dovi as a bit of a marker for when he breaks, because I can't really remember where he breaks down this straight. We seem to break all right. Now, now is where we have the pace over the AI, and we've got to use it in this next sector if we want to get some decent championship points. We've already got ourselves a podium, but we need to outrace these guys to gain on them in the championship. Here we go, very late on the brakes, trying to get underneath Davizioso. Taking a tighter line. Here we go. Oh, it almost worked. And he's squeezing us out, Davizioso. There we go, around the outside and getting the run on Marquez. Come on, only a few more corners to go. Holding it around the outside at turn 11, not able to do it. But now we've got to run on Marquez. We're on the outside, which is not where we want to be. Going to break around the outside, clean around the outside, pull it in. And that's us up into first place just at the nick of time. A bit deep around the final corner, but there we go. Squirt it to the line, and we managed to take the win. There we go, so that's good for our championship. A good opening a few races, a good opening episode. If we take a look. We got the fastest lap of the race, but crucially, we got fourth place and then first place. So that's going to put us somewhere near the top. We are in second place, just seven points off of Marquez, and then Dovi's only nine points off of Marquez. So we've got an exciting season ahead, set up nicely by this first episode. So if you are looking forward to this special season of career mode, then do smash the like button and do share it around with your friends. And make sure you subscribe for more MotoGP and racing game content. So we will see you in the next one.